Hello, my name is Chris and I'm with the Seal Boss Corporation. Today we're going to get into a little bit of how you can inject polyurethane resins, namely the 1500 series by the Seal Boss Corporation. To my right I have the B-Gun 162, also known as the B-Gun 1500. It's used primarily in bulk load applications, but for smaller, light commercial work as well as homeowner work. Worthy of note is the commercial and industrial applications that are offered here by the Seal Boss Corporation. We have the material both in 5 gallon canisters and 55 gallon drums. And for very large jobs, we do offer the product in totes. In this type of an application, you will be using the P2002 by Seal Boss. It's a high pressure polyurethane pump. For homeowners and light industrial, that's what we have on the table here and we do recommend the use of these products unless it is desired by the contractor or the homeowner doing the work that they would like to have an industrial grade pump. To my left, I have the cartridge form of the polyurethane, the 1500 series by Seal Boss Corporation. It's deployed by use of a one-to-one -one handheld tool like a dual barrel caulking gun and a static mixer that goes on top of the cartridge. These two, however, can be used in light commercial applications and are very space friendly. If someone wanted to go ahead and outfit a bunch of teams and pick up trucks with multiple cases of the product, a few guns and static mixers, you can see that it would not take up a lot of room. Sometimes folks will call in asking, well, what do I do if I have a crack that's not leaking actively? Or what do I do if it's not the rainy season? What I do tell them is you simulate it. So what you can do is actively wet the crack yourself by use of either a bottle, a Hudson sprayer, or even a hose on a jet setting. So what I've got here is I've got two concrete blocks that are clamped together. And what we've done is we've simulated an extremely tight crack in between these two blocks. And I'm going to go ahead and actively wet these with a little bit of water through the drill hole that I have at the top of this top block that I'll go ahead and here in a second and put my packer into. It does not take a lot of water for the reaction to occur, so I didn't put a lot in. So what's happening now is that water is percolating down and permeating to the plane where, they, where I have the two blocks meeting. And now I'm going to go ahead and set the mechanical injection packer. Now typically, on a job site, you'll see folks take a tool and you can actually go ahead and tighten on the stem of this packer with a tool like this or a pair of pliers, whatever you have handy that'll work. I'm just going to go ahead and do it by hand. And while I do this, what's actually happening is I tighten down on this stem. There's a compression disc on the top and a compression disc on the bottom that's sandwiching those pieces of rubber together, causing them to swell outward and lock themselves into place within the hole that I have drilled here on the top block. The result is a packer that stays in place. Now we're ready for a successful injection via use of the B-Gun 162. We've gone ahead and simulated a wet environment by adding water to our block mock-up and we've gone ahead and set our injection port. So now we're just going to get right down to the nuts and bolts of doing an active urethane injection with use of the Seal Boss 1500 lever activated gun. So what we're going to do is a bolt load. So we do that by removing the back plunger to the gun itself, having the gun upright or upside down, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the skin on top of our catalyzed batch to allow me to add it to the gun. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and connect the end of the gun with the four claw Zerk coupler to the Zerk fitting that's on the end of the injection port. That should be enough resin there. Take my plunger back, put that on securely. Now I'm just going to hook up. I'm going to begin pumping. A little bit of back pressure. start to see that resin exiting the front face of the block. Now I'm going to go ahead and disconnect, 
simply by angling the gun. We'll put the gun aside. And you can start to see the reaction occurring between the catalyzed batch of resin and the water. Again, giving you a hydrophobic closed cell foam that will not onboard any more water onto its cellular structure. Earlier in the demo, what we did is we used the lever activated B Gun 1500 with the 1510 polyurethane resin to go ahead and simulate an injection with use of an injection port. And what you can see here is a very closed cell hydrophobic foam that's very dense and will seal off the crack from any further leaks. Well, we're going to segue a little bit now into our 1500 series cartridge form of the polyurethane resin for injection. Now one key note I want to make about this is the pressures that you'll achieve with this system are not near what you can obviously with the commercial grade P2002 by Seal Boss urethane pump or even the lever activated B-Gun 1500. So this is very good for the average homeowner that may have a leak that they want to tackle very quickly or even a light commercial grade repair where you've got guys that just need a very quick fix and something on the fly. So again, we have our block mock-up. We have two concrete blocks clamped very tightly close together with a very, very tight space in between them. So we're simulating a very tight crack. Because it's not wet, I'm going to go ahead and actively introduce water into the mock-up to allow for that moisture to get in there. And again, it does not take a lot of water. For the reaction to occur. And now I'm just going to take my one to one ratio dual barrel caulk gun. I'm going to pull back to allow the chambering of the cartridge. And I'm going to go ahead and put my static mixer on the cartridge. Now typically we do have flow restrictors which can be used in the case that somebody wants to reduce the flow of the material coming out but for purposes of the demonstration it's not really necessary. So I have fixed my static mixer and then I take my retaining nut for the cartridge, slide it over the top and simply screw it on top of the cartridge. I then go ahead and load my dual barrel gun. And one thing to note is you want to make sure that the plungers on the system are as aligned as they can be with the plungers that are on the rear of the cartridge. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start to prime the system, getting rid of any air that could be in the cartridge, and also allowing, keeping an eye on that static mixer, allowing for the start of the material to start mixing. As soon as I see that in the base of the mixer, which I'm starting to see right now, I'm going to go ahead, let it go about three quarter of the way up. And I'm going to insert the end of the static mixer into my hole, and I'm going to start to pump. You can see that resin in there. And again, the pressures that you're going to achieve with this particular system won't be near what they will with the lever activated gun or the industrial grade pump, but they should be sufficient enough to allow the flow of material. And you can see there at the front of the block, we've got some good material flow starting to come out now. And that reaction is going to start to occur as that catalyzed resin meets the water. So now I'll go ahead and carefully remove my static mixer from the hole. And once again, you can see our reaction starting to occur. Producing a very closed cell hydrophobic foam in the post cure phase. That resin is onboarding the water that it needs for the reaction to take place. And once it turns into a foam, it 
will not onboard any more water onto the cellular structure. Whether utilizing high pressure injection pumps for commercial or industrial applications as seen on the left, or using cartridge systems as seen on the right for any type of water stop needs you may have, Seal Boss Concrete Solutions has you covered. For more information on the complete collection of Seal Boss Concrete Solutions, please visit our website at sealboss.com.